Welcome to Can You Fail It? My name is Paul Doroshenko and this is Kyla Lee. Today we're going to find out if toothache medicine or a gel can cause a fail or can you fail it? I don't know. Let's find out. I don't know what do people use this for. Toothaches. So you just rub you it. You rub in it on your affected area in your mouth. Okay. Well. First, we'll do a blank test to ensure that there's no alcohol in our systems and that we're not cheating the test. I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Okay, so this is supposed to be rubbed in your mouth. For the sake of science, I'll take off one glove. You're supposed to use a cotton swab or a fingertip to rub it in your mouth. Simulated cotton swab. I'm gonna use a fingertip. I think it's gonna numb the area, so. I didn't feel any numbing. I can certainly taste it. I can't taste it. Oh, I feel numbing. It's just like at the dentist. That stuff they rub on. Oh yeah, I it's gone to my whole lip now. I can feel it on the edge of my lip. 0.014. Soon it'll be 0.014 because I can't use my lip. 0.021. So, Aura Gel, can you fail it? Yes. Be careful out there because if you've used Oragel and you're blowing into a roadside breath tester, you could end up giving a reading the police might think that you're drunk. Also, because your speech is slurred because you've been using Oragel. If you have a suggestion for anything you'd like to see us try, please leave your comments in the box below or contact us at acumenlaw.ca and we'll try out your suggestions in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching Can You Fail It?